You know, those are the tragic stories that result from our health care system. But there's also enormous lost opportunities. One of the things that we know about our health care system is people get locked in jobs. They may dream about creating something, uh, a, a really innovative product, or starting a new business and becoming a, a, a great artist, um, thinking of a new invention that will transform medicine or energy, but they're stuck in their job. A Canadian was telling me about the e incredible freedom that people in Canada have to innovate, to experiment, to create, to do all the things that so many Americans, because of our health care system, are unable to do. If America, the United States of America, wants to be number one in innovation, we want to release that creative spirit and that spirit of innovation which is trapped in a job because of, because of health care. Let me, let me give a personal example. My son, married, two children, worked for the University of California uh, for uh, almost 19 years. In, in the last five years, he wanted to start his own business. He and his wife wanted to start their own business. Actually, it's been about 10 years now. Wanted to start their own business. Uh, they hesitated, hesitated year after year and didn't start their own business until finally he just said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to run the risk. Why did he wait all that time? One very important factor. Two young children. Obviously, there was a, some pregnancies and deliveries involved in that during that period of time. He could not afford and he could not get his personal health insurance. So he stayed with the university for an extra five, seven years. And the entrepreneurial spirit, his entrepreneurial spirit, was dampened because of his inability to get health insurance in the private individual market because of a pre-existing condition that his wife had. He knew that if he left the university, they would be uninsurable. That is repeated million times across America. The great entrepreneurial society stifled by this health insurance industry that we have. We are going to change that. We're going to change that. If the Republicans want to join us in changing and freeing the American entrepreneurial spirit, then come and join us. Join us on this bill. Join us on a bill that eliminates the discrimination against women. Join us on a bill that eliminates the ability of the insurance companies to discriminate against individuals of all kinds. Free the American entrepreneurial spirit. Give people health care. Give it affordable. We haven't talked about the subsidies that are in this. There are extraordinary subsidies for individuals, for small businesses, so that it becomes affordable, available, and honest insurance. That's our promise. That's in this bill. We're going to pass it because it is the right thing for America. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so very, very much for the leadership and all that you brought to us. And for the American people, pay attention. This is important. America, for more than a century, has tried to get to the point that we're going to be voting on in the days ahead. I yield back my time.